Have you ever wondered how mountains are formed or what mountains are made of? Mountains are made of what we are standing on right now. I mean the crust of the Earth, the outer layer of the planet Earth. Crust of the Earth? That's making me hungry. It's making me think of a nice, warm, crusty loaf of bread. Well, something like that. The crust of the bread goes all around the outside, forming an outer layer. Or let's look at my egg here. The eggshell goes all around the egg, forming an outer layer. So now let's look at the structure of our planet. The outer layer of the planet Earth is called the crust and it's the hard, rocky surface that we live on. It covers the entire Earth, forming all the features on the surface like mountains and rivers and valleys and lakes and forests and deserts and vegetations. And it even makes the deep, deep at the bottom of the sea. It's the outer layer of a planet like the shell of an egg or the crust of the bread. Planet Earth is actually made of four distinct layers, the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. Each layer has different thicknesses and is composed of different materials. Let's talk about the crust, though. Unlike the bread's crust, the Earth's crust is not one piece. Look, if I smash my head, it breaks into pieces. The Earth's crust is like that too. It's broken into big pieces called plates that house the continents. There are seven main tectonic plates that cover the Earth and then some microplates of varying sizes. These tectonic plates are huge, heavy and constantly moving but very, very, very slowly. They move by about one to 10 centimeters a year. Over long periods of time, the movement of these plates result in big changes on the Earth's crust. Mountains are mostly formed because of this movement of these tectonic plates. So, for example, I'm going to explain how the most common mountain called a fold mountain occurs. Sometimes two of the plates of the earth crust push against each other and with nowhere to go, they push and push and push and push and push until eventually it buckles and the crust that is pushed upwards becomes what we call a fold mountain. This is the most common mountain type formed over millions of years. The more they press against each other, the more they rise. Sometimes not just one mountain pops up, but a whole range like the Atlas Mountain in Morocco. If I get this piece of paper and push the ends together, it creates an upward fold in the paper. This is similar to how a fold mountain is formed. A block mountain, however, occurs when cracks, faults, form in the crust when it's being stretched and most likely in the widening rift to produce what we call a block mountain. Renzori Mountains in Uganda are a good example of this. They were formed three million years ago and are uplifted blocks of much older crust. Table Mountain in Cape Town is also like this. Volcanoes and dome mountains are formed by hot molten rock from the Earth's center, pushing their way up towards the crust. The highest mountain in Africa is in Tanzania on the border with Kenya, and it is called Kilimanjaro. It's a very large stratovolcano which formed during the formation of the Rift Valley due to a very thin weak spot in the Earth's surface, allowing for magma to come to the surface from the Earth's mantle. It became a volcano with three craters, but only one is active today. For your home learning, observe mountains or hills in your area. Have a think, what type of mountains 
are they? Inquire and discover. <laughs>